Welcome back to Intibles, everyone, to the market pulling back from yesterday's pullback that we had continuing on lower today. We did have a slight bounce. We had a nice breakout with VLON this morning in pre-market into open. So our question is, are we going to continue on lower into a possible flash crash? Now, I wanted to take you guys on a trip on history lane. For those of you that have been trading for over 10 years, on May 6, 2010, I wanted to show you guys this so you guys can see what a flash crash looks like and what has been on my mind for the last couple of days from all the way back in 2010. And then I'm going to go over the daily chart right after this clip and what exact levels would give us confirmation on the possible flash crash. Now, before I jump into this, all I ask in return is you smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates every single day that I mentioned throughout the week. Again, if you are a day trader or you're just tired of looking at the market all throughout the day, and you rather have somebody do it for you, go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss a breakout like today again. So let's jump into this. Right, 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 right. That's way too much. 40 been bid here now, guys. 40. He's talking about a thousand Dow points. You know, it's just too much. 13 even bid here now once again. I'm at 13 even bid now. 13 ads are trading right now. All right, guys. Sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that, guys. Once again, on it for you here in a big way. Paper came in. Huge paper sellers coming through here, guys. We got fast market up on the boards here once again. We have seen some big paper sellers coming in. It all started out up above around 38 even here now, guys. Talking about 25 handles of solid sell side activity here, guys. They have just peased the limit down, and the S&Ps would be a 11, 50, I'm sorry, 10, 53 even. So we still have a solid 60 handles of range left. Here they come to sell them again. Nine half straight line, 20 straight line, even straight here now, guys. Eight halves are trading as well. Once again, guys, they're going to get it in. Eight halves trade, eight even offer, seven even offer. Six halves are trading here now. Six evens are trading. Five evens are trading here now once again. Five evens do trade here. You're going to get a new five even offer comes in. Four evens are trading here now three even are trading out now three the video now you're gonna get a low print of 1103 even guys two half off for two even are trading here now once again I'm off of that three even here now two half but I'm out of that three half three even for here guys all even are trading the figure prints are trading nine halves are trading here now once again we got figure trade here now once again we are trading 1100 even Guys, we are 64 handles lower on the day here now, guys. Nine halves trade. Nine even offer comes in here now, guys. Once again, nine evens are trading here now, guys. Offer that a figure here, guys. Once again, nine evens are 1053. Once again, eight even trade. 90, 80, the bit of no even here, guys. Once again, 80, the bit of no even. That's a 98 even bid. 98s are trading here now, 97 halves are trading here now, once again, 97 evens are trading here, guys, 96 halves trade, 96 evens trade, 94 evens are trading, 94 evens are trading here now, guys, once again, 4 half offer, 4 even offer, 3 halves do trade, 93 evens are trading, 92 evens are trading here now, guys, 91 evens are trading, 89s are trading, 88 halves are trading, 87 evens are trading, 86 evens are trading, 85 evens are trading here now guys, all the way down, 84 evens are trading here now guys, 82 evens are trading, paper comes in a big seller, 81 evens are trading here now guys, 79s are trading, you got 79s trading here now once again, 78s are trading, 6s are trading, 76 evens are trading here now guys, 75 evens are trading, 4 evens, 3 evens are trading here, 2 evens are trading, 72 evens just traded, once again guys, we are big time even bid here now guys, 72 even offer, 68 evens are trading, guys, 70 even bid here now once again, 70 evens trade, 71 even bid here now with the 72 evens are trading, Guys, 70 over here.
Now, looking at the daily chart, as you guys can see, we do have our momentum candle to the downside that we had today. A very strong pullback following yesterday's pullback. And now we are testing the level that we had when Jerome Powell mentioned a possible increase in rates. And now the question is, are we going to hold this level as a possible level of strength? Are we going to have a bounce back from this level? Do we have more fear when Jerome Powell initially had talked about rates against our possible triple rate hike that people have been talking about now after we got confirmation yesterday on a double rate hike from Jerome Powell? And if we did drop down below 420, in my opinion, we would continue on lower below 410 which was when russia initially attacked ukraine so going into next week we want to see if we can hold 420 if we can't hold 420 then we will be looking for that continuation on lower below 410 and if we do have a bounce back and we are looking for that strength to the upside we want to see if we can jump back over our 20 with a larger ring candle and start to respect our 20 before our 20 drops down below our 50 day moving average which would in my opinion give us that strength to the downside that could give us that continuation on down and possible flash crash now again with that said if you guys are day traders most breakouts have been pre-market news in pre-market or breakouts with news or with volume right before market open into a spike out the gate. Those have been my most profitable. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. And all of you instables that support the channel every single day, stay patient. If we do continue on lower, there is more opportunity for long plays. And I know that is a hard thing to look at if you guys are holding into plays that have been continuing on lower. Um, but if we do continue on lower, that is more opportunity in the market. And again, amazing long plays that we will have right in front of us so just staying patient letting these long plays come to us or we will have those intraday plays if we do have more consolidation in the market and again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video